Welcome to National Geographic's Great Wonders of the World. There have been eight great wonders of the world, from the great Colosseums of Italy to the Taj Mahal of India. But today, I bring you the ninth wonder of the world, the data center. A data center is a facility used to house computer systems and associated components. A data center is essential to the general backup of power supplies, important data, and environmental controls. For a better understanding of the technological powerhouse and its components, let's travel inside the data center and take a look at its wonders. First, we will take a look inside the lounge area of the data center. The lounge area is typically set up in the data center as a place for peace and quiet from quality engineers. This area often has things that brighten employee morale, such as vending machines, abstract sculptures and paintings, and even a television for entertainment. Next, we will take a look at the key component in the functionality of the data center, the centralized air unit. The centralized air unit runs through the floor and travels up through the server in order to keep the room cool so that the data servers don't overheat. Another feature of the data center is the computer lab. The computer lab is where quality engineer technicians do most of their server analyzing and editing. Data center labs contain high volumes of information so they usually require security controlled entry. Before quality technicians start to perform edits and analyze server data, they often use data screen monitors to read and interpret information from the servers. Data is usually interpreted and read from a standard data pad screen. The data on the monitor comes straight from the server. The data server is the reason data centers were created in today's society. A data server is a system made of software and hardware components. Data servers respond to requests across a computer network to provide service or help run the networks. Servers operate within a client server based on architecture and run requests based on the needs of the client or user. Clients usually connect to the server through the networks but may be run on different computers. For instance, one server could be used to run the client computers in the 3009 Smith Lab. Some different types of servers are game servers, database servers, file servers, and even print servers. Now that we have finished the tour, you should have a great understanding of the data center facility. Until next time, America, take care of yourself and your server. Stay in each other. <laughs>